He that is of the opinion money will do everything may well be suspected of doing everything for money. I recently made a video suggesting that human society will naturally shift away from capitalism towards a moneyless society. In a world of post-scarcity, the concept of money will eventually become redundant. Of course, many proponents of capitalism replied to my video, essentially saying that it will never happen. It's human nature. Money's been around for tens of thousands of years. Everything costs something. There's no such thing as a free lunch and so on. But I have one simple rebuttal to this. Does a deer pay for lunch? If not, why not? Obviously, the first part of this question is rhetorical. Of course, a deer or any animal doesn't pay for lunch. Perhaps one could argue that some working animals are paying for their food. For example, an elephant in Cambodia that is used to carry cashed-up tourists around only gets food after it's done its duty. But I think we could all agree that this is not a voluntary relationship. Obviously, a wild elephant doesn't want a human sitting on its back. It's only due to threat of punishment that the elephant puts up with it. The same could be said for chickens that are kept in coops to lay eggs for human consumption. They're doing it out of slavery rather than some sense of equal and fair exchange. So I think we can happily say that animals, in their natural environment, do not pay for anything. Perhaps you could argue that some animals have to work for their food. But when it comes to a deer, or rabbit, or llama, or any other plant eater, they essentially just have to bend forward and eat. There's almost no effort involved. So back to the original question, does a deer pay for lunch? If not, why not? Before answering, I'd just like to add one more part to this question, which is actually my true intention, as you may have already gathered. If a deer doesn't have to pay for lunch, why do we? These questions highlight one important fact. Money is a human construct. It's not natural, insofar that you classify human-created concepts and objects as not being natural. If you do consider humans and their creations to be natural, then we could argue that an atomic bomb is natural. Obviously, that's an argument in semantics rather than reasoning. The point being, money is not natural. Back to the question, if a deer doesn't have to pay for lunch, why do we? I think the first part of the answer, and perhaps most obvious, is scarcity. That is, grass, or leaves, or plants, are plentiful. Bacon double cheeseburgers are not. A deer can happily live in a forest and find shelter under trees. However, humans have decided over the past millennia that forest life is not for us. Unless, of course, you're currently living in a traditional tribal setting, but the very fact that you're watching this video means that you are not. Essentially, humans have come to expect a much higher standard of living than, say, a deer or an alpaca. Secondly, and perhaps less obvious, is control. If I have money, and you don't, I can make you do stuff for me. Before money, I would have had to have asked you nicely, and if you still didn't comply, I would either have to have given up, or threatened you with a big stick, or a whip. Hence why humans condoned slavery for thousands of years. People wanted to control other people. Those people didn't want to be controlled, so we hit them. In our modern capitalist society, we've essentially replaced whips and chains with wages and contracts. As I mentioned in one of my previous comments, I much prefer living in a monetary society than one that relies on whips and chains to make me do things. But let's not forget that these two things can be equally coercive. If you don't build my pyramid, I will whip you. If you don't pay your taxes, I'll put you in jail. Some of you might be saying that that last one has nothing to do with capitalism, but rather state control. Okay, I'll play ball. Here's a capitalist one for you. Excuse me, sir, I don't have any money to pay for your food. Piss off, you peasant. Would this situation ever happen with a deer? Excuse me, this is my grass. Don't touch it. Perhaps there are territorial disputes. I'm no deer expert. But let's face it, there's grass everywhere. If I don't eat here, I can eat over there. To be fair, despite what many of you might be thinking, I'm not anti-capitalist. I just think that we can do a lot better. Just as a deer can freely graze on grass, there will be a time in human history when hamburgers and houses are no longer scarce. Once automation is in full swing, and physical labour has essentially become extinct, there will be no need for money. It's certainly not impossible. You know why? Because the deer are already doing it. They've got no need for money. 
and there's billions of other animals on this planet doing the same thing. If you still don't agree with me, then I guess you think that humans are not willing to change, or that we are less intelligent than deer. You don't really think that we're less intelligent than deer, do you? Enough said.